Hello everybody, and welcome back to uh, a special Airport CEO Alpha 35. Yes, we're freaking here, finally, after so long. Uh, we're going to do it, um, a new sort of Let's Play series. Um, I know we were doing another Air, you know, Alpha 34 series, but it just makes little sense continuing with it if we're going to start messing around with Alpha 35, um, in all honesty. Um, Hit me in the comments below, though, if you do want to see it back, or you do want to see at least some sort of conclusion, or something happened with the airport. Um, it was bugging out when I was trying it earlier, and maybe other people are experiencing the same things. Um, but I do want to rush through um, the tutorial as quickly as possible. Um, so I want to get that done pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so um, for those that haven't played the game before, um, just follow the tutorial. It's my genuine guide for the first part of the game. Um, it'll teach you everything you sort of need to know pretty quickly. Um, I'm playing a game on medium, so we start with two million pounds. And um, yes, so many new things to try out here. Um, I just want to get stuck in and get started. Um, I don't know, it'd be interesting to find out if they have updated the tutorial to include the new stuff. Um, I guess we'll find out pretty quickly. Um, I can go away. Yeah, fantastic, beautiful. Right, so um, it wants us to sign a contractor first. It always sort of starts with this, um, and we can start with any of these. Blue build are probably the best, just because of their price. Um, oh, I've turned all mods off as well. I want to make that abundantly clear. I have turned all the mods off, because I just don't want anything to go wrong. Some of them won't be supported, and yeah, that sort of jazz, really. Um, it'll say wait for them to arrive, and that's absolutely fine. Um, we sort of know what's coming here, um, so we're going to start off pretty much, uh, very simply, with a, gra with a grass runway. Um, I'm going to change it up differently um, to how I had it before, um, for people that were watching my series before, mainly because um, I'm going to want to put a second runway down pretty soon, um, is the genuine answer. So um, I will start by putting this runway as far across as I can, um, really, uh, just to give us the best sort of start. So we're going to place it there. Let's get that out of the way nice and early. And we need some uh, runway entrance and exits. So we'll place them pretty quickly too. Um, and then let's get some taxiway foundation. This only has to be three wide. So we'll get that in place pretty quickly. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll make sure um, that the reality is that we'll make sure that um, there's a bit more space this time round. Um, so just to get us started early on. Now, um, what I will do, though, is I'm definitely going to place a general aviation um, down here. So it wants a few stands to start off, and that's not a problem at all. Um, so if we build one, two, it asks for five, I think, three, and I guess four, five, six. We'll start with six. I'm not too worried about that. Um, seems like a good place to start. Now they have changed um, some of where some of the locations are, um, you know, in terms of what's sort of been displayed in certain areas. So if you are familiar with the game, Alpha 35 has changed certain things. For example, um, car parks um, for your vehicles have moved from the infrastructure and transportation, which makes complete sense. They've now gone into um, the aircraft infrastructure section where everything else sort of is. Um, and this made complete sense to me. It just made sense that they moved that. Um, it was a it was a good move. Good, good move, everybody, on the whole. Um, so we sort of want to rush to get this done pretty quickly. Um, I also want to make sure that we have Taxiway Foundation effectively going... Maybe... It could go straight there to start with. What we could do is do that and that. And this might seem a bit pointless, but trust me, it actually will allow a quicker access out of here. So what we can end up doing is making it one way. Um, and I'll, I think I can do that. I'm not 100% sure. This won't be done because we can't live a taxiway yet, which is a shame. We should, you know, if there's one thing... I would have liked them to have done actually is allow us to play the taxiway uh, to build the taxiway on the new building just so we knew it was coming 
that would have been a sort of nice little booster. Um, I am going to speed up time just so they can get to work as quickly as possible. Um, I'm a bit concerned that the workers have been dropped off and they're not. There we go. Off to work they go. Uh, we have got a larger workforce than usual in the game, um, so that's quite beneficial. There. So that's quite beneficial. So let's have a look. So right now they're building our new airport, which is good. Um, as you can see, we've already sort of jumped ahead of what they want. So wait for the construction of a taxiway foundation to the finish um, and blah, 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 blah. I know what's going to happen. It's going to ask us to open the airport um, and basically get our flight started. What I'm going to do is I want to get on with building a foundation um, for our first... Oh, trash cans move too. What a sensible space to put it. That makes complete sense now. Trash can was actually locked behind, I think it was restaurants and cafes. I don't even think it was shops. And so you couldn't actually get trash cans in your airport until you had restaurants and cafes. They've now moved it. It's that's just as well. Um, so what we're going to do, a similar sort of setup to this really, is um, I'm going to put the terminal uh, could go here, I think. Um, and it, it says it wants sort of a 20 by 15, I think, um, originally. Uh, but that's like 300 grand. We probably don't need to spend that. So we could probably get away at the moment with spending a little less. Let's try spending a little less. Let's see what happens. So um, I'm going to start getting this in place. We don't need it to look, you know, all pretty and almighty. But um, we we'll most certainly do our best to make it look okay to start off with. And uh, I'm actually going to keep it on fast forward just so we can get it done as quickly as possible. Uh, we can have a path going the length of the building, don't mind that at all. And then what we can also do is, this is the actual road, um, I can build it this way down here, and what we can have is one-way system going down here to here, um, another one-way system going down here to here, and another one-way system going down here to here. There is good ideas in this world. Uh, what I will do, just slow the game down a tad, make sure that that one-way system just forces the guys to go down there. No traffic allowed down there. And yeah, I think we should have got that all in place. What we're also going to want to get in place um, in the transport and infrastructure section is a couple of medium... Uh, crossings, so I don't mind having a crossing, well I suppose here, here and here would be where the crossings are. Sidewalks we're going to want to come all the way across there. We can make it look prettier than this in a minute and then what we want to do is get our bus stops in. So bus stop there, bus stop there, bus stop there. Can't quite get another one in, don't worry, we, we should have measured it really. But we can we can make changes to it after. Then we want uh, car stops. These can be at the far end. Uh, we'll start with six, and then taxi stops are the same size as car stops, and we can stretch them up to there. Beautiful stuff. So these guys are building everything. They've actually already built the terminal, which is quite convenient. Uh, what we need to do is get our planes actually launched in the sky to continue with. Um, to continue with this basically. Uh, what I want to do is change this to uh, an, e uh, an exit only and this one to an entry only. Um, trust makes more sense doing it that way. And then we need to hook up these here like so. One, two, oh, one, two, one and two. So now we can actually get rid of that one and what we want to do is right click that and set to one way only. That's right. And then set this one up oh, the other way. There we go. So it's actually, what this will do is it will stop our planes. We could probably do it that way. Oh no. Do we? Yeah, we want it that way. Um, so it stops our plane. It means that any plane that needs to come in and park in these bays, it'll have to come down here and have to turn in here. It can't turn in here. 
Um, and that way then what you can do is you can effectively have a plane park here whilst another one's being shipped away. It's quite a clever way of sort of organising the planes. I didn't do it in my last airport, and I thought I definitely need to do it in this one. Um, and then, then the last thing we need, um, it's not a terminal, no, no, no. It's a um, small ATC. And this, this, to be fair, can go here. It doesn't really need to go anywhere. I'm just going to put it out of the way, um, just so it's out of the way, really. Um, and that's another job done. Uh, we're just going to wait for it to be built, and then we can sort of start allowing flights. Um, so... I mean, I can open the airport, allow general aviation. Job done, really. I mean, I think. Um, oh, open runway. I suppose we... Well, we need the ATC to do that. General aviation's already there. We're not allowing that. Uh, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, we'll just wait for that to be built. Shouldn't take too long. It'll then start telling us to do other things. Badoom, open runway. That's done. And now it's a... Except 5G general aviation flights. Boom, there we go. We've done everything we need to do here, so that's fine. We can start setting up our airport. Um, uh, yeah, so <laughs> there is there is things I need to do again first. Um, uh, one thing I didn't do was start setting up research, and that's really important early game. So if you ever get, um, if, if you're ever into playing this, or if you ever do end up getting this, uh, one of the key features early on, um, and it's really important that you do it, is to get a staff room and get administrators in quick. Um, because they actually research um, an awful lot of sort of what you need going forward. Um, so what we need to do is staff zone this up, uh, staff room it up. So we now have a staff room and get some desks in here. Now... Um, quite like that layout there. I don't think we need to go one more. I don't want us to cramp it all in. Uh, but once you've got that in place, um, we can then get a few desks in place. We can make it look nice for our uh, staff members. Um, not really that fussed on it looking too good. <laughs> but we do want them to live in some sort of minor luxury. And we can get some new plants. There are a couple of new little flower, I, th I think, flowers in the game. Um, uh, but yeah, nothing too major. And what we'll also do, I think it's important to make your um, your gorgeous airport look gorgeous. So we'll put some nice dirty fancy mat in there. Um, so now what we can do is actually look at hiring some staff, uh, which is really important. The first thing we need to do is hire some administrators. He is really expensive. Um, that is ex actually exorbitant. I don't think I've ever seen an administrator with that high of a wage before. Um, so I'm purposely not going to hire him. I'm going to reject you, actually. That's preposterous. You do want to keep an eye on the funds. They will start rolling in when planes start to land, so there won't be any major issue. I'm going to put on a super fast forward because I need those GA flights to land. Um, yeah, everything seems to be good here, um, so that's great. Once, um, oh yeah, we'll have you, you and you. See, you see, 26 is fine. I'm quite happy mulling along with that. That'll do. Now we need to start and get our commercial license. This doesn't take too long, um, and, you know, we have four administrators. I don't think we need four at this early stage, but we do need our commercial license as quickly as possible, so we need them to work it. Um, another thing you will need as quickly as possible um, as well is toilets. It's a big complaint in the game um, that passengers just have issues with their bladder. Um, so, yeah, really sort of important to have toilets early on in the game. Um, so we'll make sure we've got to get them in place. So what we'll do is we'll make sure that these are set up as bathroom rooms very quickly. Lovely stuff. Let's get some toilets in there, very important. This can be the ladies, so extra ladies toilets there. Uh, and then we can go sink and sink, and we can go hand dry, hand dry. Let's make it look pretty. Look at that. So how was it? Ha oh, to be fair, we could really sort of rinse repeat it. So um, if we grab these, go in like that. But instead of these fancy toilets, one, two, three, we can put in some dirty men's urinals because why the hell not? This one here can be a male bathroom, 
this one here a female bathroom and everyone who is everyone can go in those bathrooms too and again what we want to do is fancy map them up because it's very important for your bathrooms to look fancy um, they're not open yet so I'm not too worried um, next we need to put refueling in place and we need an entrance to our area which is absolutely fine so what we need to do is build a entrance now for this hmm we're gonna need a fuel depot anyway so we could put that I, I don't mind that being here to be honest because it's sort of close to everywhere uh, so service road grass put that in place there lovely jubbly and then a this needs to be this way around I'm pretty sure and it can back on there so service road grass at the moment um, and then we can do normal road there and there lovely stuff so okay the checkpoint's not the ideal space you do want it sort of like a runoff to the checkpoint but I'm not too worried about it um, ultimately at the end of the day as long as everything gets refilled and things you know get sorted I don't really mind um, and then what I'm going to do because um, obviously they've moved now which is superb we'll put the vehicle depot in this is a massive building actually and um, yeah I don't mind it being sort of I don't want it anywhere near there this is unfortunately the way we've laid out I promise you isn't ideal um, but what we can actually do oh, that's a great space for it is you could actually put it over here I'm going to put it there, actually. That's a lovely space for it for now. It won't permanently live there. We'll end up moving it, but it's fine because it's sort of out the way. Um, I need a roads. Where are they gone? Service roads. There we go. Beautiful. Um, get that in place. Go there. And down there. Beautiful. So now things are really, really um, looking great. What we need to do is offer a contract to a fuel supplier. Um, normally, the best ones to go for are something with a four-star straight out the bat because they deliver a lot of fuel in one go um, although I don't think we need all that fuel it is cheaper it's, uh, Avgas is quite expensive anyway 1.6 a litre look um, 1.2 um, let's go for AV fuel I don't want to go for one of the four star contracts because we don't need all the fuel especially at um, Avgas because we just don't need it um, yeah we know that don't worry it'll happen um, let's go vehicles because we do need to get some vehicles in and we'll start off I think two trucks is enough oh, vehicle che vehicle checkpoint vehicle depot oh it's the vehicle depot I haven't got in place For crying out loud there we go so they're now delivering the fuel which is good um, this will get finished any second which is great now we can purchase two vehicles you want to purchase as many vehicles as you need in one go um, because it'll help you. I have done that. It should be coming. It normally says wait for it to be delivered. If I have to purchase another one, project completed. Nice. Can we program group? Trust me, you want the program group in. New products have arrived. Wait for all the fuel tank to refuel. Blah 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 blah. Um, but we can start looking at desks now um, so we can actually start getting people um, or start getting ready to accept people into our airport that looks different the security exit maybe I'm going weird maybe I am who knows uh, the good news is that's refueling so that's good news and then what we need to do yes very true is activate that service and then it'll ask us to refill for five planes I think that's the usual um, shenanigans uh, we are going to open these toilets so our staff can go to the toilet um, that's quite important trust me they will get a bit angry if they don't get their toilet time um, very very important thing to do and then what we will do is this is going to be just a small area I want to trial some of the new stuff as quickly as possible so to do that to access that um, I want to only do a small terminal here um, this is purpose for Alpha 35. I'm purposely doing this. So we're only going to have... Oh my word, the check-in desks have changed. Have you seen that? They're singular. Oh, how beautiful. So it's just a little check-in desk now. I don't understand what I'm witnessing. That's, that's weird. So this is an information desk. They haven't changed. 
But the check-in desks have. What the hell is that? You got a boarding desk. Have they changed? No, they're exactly the same. But check-in desks, yep, different. Love it. So, I really do, actually. That's pretty pretty swag. Um, so, we're going to put some check-in desks here, I suppose. Um, I don't know whether to have them together. Like that? Can we do that? I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. And I'd do that, maybe? And then... Wow, we can have definitely a different layout here. This is this is unique. Um, so we need the aviation people to refill, and then they want us to fill five aircrafts. So it shouldn't take too long. Um, I th Yeah, it shouldn't take too long at all. In fact, they've already refueled that one. That one's going to be refueled. That one isn't. So, so we will get some new ones come in, which is good news. Um, so we'll speed that up, allow that to get on. Now, um, <laughs> this is incredible. I don't think we'll need big queues to start off with. So at least the game is aware of it, but look at them. I love this. This is this is wonderful. Oh, the check-in desks are beautiful. There's no baggage or anything on them. That is so strange. Either way, we have check-in desks. Beautiful stuff. So what uh, what I would like to do is is make it look a bit prettier than this. Um, again, I wanted to speed up so it gets that bit of the job done. Um, so I wanted a wall. Oh dear, beautiful. How beautiful is this? Um, we can go like that. We can go like that. I don't mind that it's walled off there, this check-in desk section. In fact, no, screw it. Get rid of the wall there. Um, and then what we'll do is staff zone make this area staff only for now. I don't know how bagging works, so how baggage works yet, so we've got to be careful of that, I suppose. Get a small door in. There we go. I don't know why it's there, because there's nothing stopping them from just going that way. That's absolutely fine. And then for now, we we'll get some fancy mat down, some fancy red mat. Oh, lovely. There's your check-in section, ladies and gentlemen. Just that simple. That beautiful. In fact, I'll extend it, the carpet out so we're aware it's a full-on check-in section. Um, but I'm surprised. They haven't updated these. <laughs> Which is absolutely okay. I mean, I don't mind. Um, they haven't updated it. But it, it, it's not an issue at all. Um, the important thing here is the security checkpoint at the moment. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to have... Um, I don't know what to do. Um, we're going to have a security section, basically. Um, I want there to be a wall. Um, we can go here through this gap, I suppose. In fact, no. Let's refrain from that wall. Oh, no. I said no. Let's... <laughs> they were like, oh, crap. We were going to do that job. How dare you? Um... <laughs> um I'm going to have the security section here, actually. Um, and I'm going to pull it down like so, and across like so. Okay, so we can set up another check-in desk area over here, not worried about that. But I do want um, a security zone to sort of cross here. I suppose we can do another one that side. Ooh, secure zone number one. How strange. Oh, it's, it's beautiful, actually. Will this connect? Oh, it's still secure zone number one. Oh, look at this. So this here would tell me that this is one secure zone. So if I built a wall here, effectively, remove that, and built a wall, where's my wall? So we can immediately play with this, effectively. We can build a wall there, and then we have a new secure section. And what all we need to do now is go small security checkpoints. One, two, three, and four. And what we can do is build another wall piece there just to make it look pretty. And then we just need a security exit. Is it that one? Ah. Um, what we do need to do, there is a way of doing these. A I do have a certain way of doing these. Uh, demolished 
these four blocks here. Demolish these four blocks here. And then we need to make them high security. So I like that this is now secure zone one. So it's like this is terminal one. This is where you have to go to these check-in desks to get to this secure zone. And we can have a shop here and we can have just four sort of planes here. And it sort of allows you to space your airport out a little bit better. Um, so just like I said, we need to expand that there and get a security exit there. I think things are beginning to look up for this beautiful little airport. How good news. How much good news do we need? Um, so yeah, um, already we're seeing changes. Already we're seeing something different. We've got new zones. So this is secure zone one with four security entrances and it'll have a secure exit. New check-in desks. Very exciting. Everything's brand new. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I will try and get another episode out as quickly as possible. But you've been watching Gaming Reigns. Check out the next episode where we uh, undoubtedly find more new stuff. I will catch you all, all of you, on the flippity flip. How very exciting. Bye-bye.